His versatility, Lee, has really been vital to Dundalk recently. Deputised effectively at centre back in the absence of Dan Cleary. You say Dan Kelly. No Sloggett. Sloggett back for Cleary here. Being closed down over there by Shane Griffin. Now Andy Boyle. Leahy to his left hand side. No Pat Hooban who's come across to the left wing. Michael Duffy is the player ahead of him. Here is the Derryman looking to reverse it to Hooban again, but there's a Derry City or a Waterford player in the way. There's a swipe by it's Sean Murray and an attempt from Dan Kelly that's off target. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Good walk by Duffy and Hooban down the left hand side. And, um, Here's Cleary. And Sluggett. Sluggett doesn't spot. Junior behind him, and here he is, Caterna now attacking the penalty area and having a go at Peter Cherry's goal. No real danger for Cherry. Dived just to be on the safe side, but well off target. Looks like he'd been closed down by Dan Kelly, but he just managed to get his clearance away. Throw in his son dogs here. Darrell Lee just in front of us on the halfway line. Here's Boyle patching. Andy Boyle again. Calling for it. Here's Leahy again. He had a tough game of it on Monday night against St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Athletics' Billy King. He'll be hoping to refine his best form here this evening. Here's Huben. He's found Michael Duffy with a good pass. Duffy now going to that right foot. Looking to get the shot away and it's not a bad one by Duffy. Only just outside Paul Martin's left post, curling all the way. 2019 on the way to the title and another in the 3-0 win there in April of this year. And going close to a fourth career goal against Waterford. Here's Patterson now. And Wordsworth. Wordsworth once more. Joined the club from Barnet in July. Has a ton of League One and Championship experience, Anthony Wordsworth. There's Katerina. Wordsworth again. He's uh, played for the likes of AFC Wimbledon and Ipswich and South End. And that off target. Yeah, it's a great take again by Junior. He's stuff he's causing problems with this side for the dock and this ball for them had a few opportunities. Cleared away by Peter Cherry. <laughs> Ferguson for a moment looked like he'd lost the run of it and here's Sean Murray in behind and Murray's put it wide and Kyle Ferguson got that all wrong at the back and that was a guilt edge chance here's Dan Cleary now patching to Cleary Daniel Kelly and Kelly's gotten in behind here as he has and Paul Martin comes out to the edge of his penalty area and there's an argument that he's taken down Dan Kelly then referee didn't look at him they need to get the ball to him more to dog corner kick Murray's delivery to the back posts and it's Greg Sloggett who's attacking it can't keep it down though yeah John Martin's probably just done enough just then Always seems to have a good game against the Lily Whites. He's got 11 goals this season. Nine in the league and two in the cup. Scored twice in the 3-1 win over Dundalk in June. Also scored the only goal of the game when Waterford beat Dundalk at the RSC last October. And here come Waterford once more. That's a decent effort from distance by Jack Stafford. The left full back all the way forward. Yeah, it's too easy that... power boil away here's Hooban clever by Hooban Michael Duffy Sean Murray is sprinting through the middle Dan Kelly on the right hand side Michael Duffy still looking for Kelly can Kelly tee himself up for the shot he can but can't keep it down oh it's great play for Michael Duffy again great decision great ball to Daniel he ran the second minute of time added on there may well be a little more for that injury to Sloggett Paul Martin's long clearance Darrell Lee just Knees it into midfield and Sean Murray has found 
Daniel Kelly at the third time of asking, can he find the net? He can, Daniel Kelly. He's had opportunities in this first half, but eventually managed to close off that avenue on Dundalk, and eventually Dundalk have hit the front. Yeah, oh, this is who you're going to get, Pat. Here's Pat Huben. Uh, Huben, can he make it too? Oh, and he's. It's a wild effort by Pat Huben's standards over the crossbar. Yeah, it's a total mix up there. <laughs> total. Darren Power, graduate of the Waterford Jude Academy, part of the Waterford team that won the 2019 Under 19 League title. Here's Will Patching. Patching teeing up. Pat Huben with the effort saved by Paul Martin. Played really too close to the goalkeeper by Pat Huben. You'd expect him to find a corner there. The Ducks still have it though. Michael Duffy, no patching. Lee on the outside. Lee with the chance to cross. Holds it up. John Martin, the player, back there defending. Lee does manage to dig out a cross. Headed away by Stafford, only as far as Jurkowskis. Better pressure by this Dundalk at the start of the half. Patching. Clever. Lee. No Michael Duffy. Duffy for patching again. Patching's cross in is too high for Huben or for Sean Murray. Uh, that's flurry of Dundalk pressure. Such a consistent deliverer of these. Let me find another one here. It's not a bad one. And it's in, is it? Pat Huben, great save by Paul Martin. And Jokowskis with the follow-up effort. Charged away by Waterford again. And I'm not sure that Paul Martin knew much about it. But the save was effective. And it stays 1-0 for Dundalk. Here's Michael Duffy. Now Leahy. The cross in. It's too far beyond anybody in a white shirt. It was Sean Murray indeed with the cross in. But Andy Boyle comes in strongly for Dundalk. Michael Duffy with the control. Here's Junior Caterna. Loose pass by Dundalk. And now it's Wordsworth. Patterson. Patterson has uh, spotted Wordsworth with the cross field. Oh, well. The, well an effort across the front of Peter Cherry's six yard box Don't again back to Jorkowskis first time delivery in here's Sean Murray with the chance to shoot Michael Duffy rather saved by Martin Huben with the chance on the follow up and Paul Martin denies to talk once again what a save, two fantastic saves from the young goalkeeper great strikes both to them uh, two fantastic saves what wow. Unbelievable from Paul Martin. He's really kept kept water for the days. One they, they, they might rue these chances they've missed. Well, certainly those missed chances will result in a few nervy minutes as this game wears on. And there might be a chance here for for Waterford. And it's Green with the effort blocked and saved by Peter Cherry. It'll be a throw into Waterford. Yeah, it's good, it's good save by Cherry again. It's probably just in dispensed with. Here's Sean Murray. Murray, there's a deflection on that and it's cut out in midfield by O'Keefe. John Martin to Wordsworth. Here's Junior. Junior's in here. Saved by Peter Cherry. And what Paul Martin has done time and again at the other end, Peter Cherry provides. Now John Jock make their move. Here's Duffy. Ben Amara's in the middle. Here's a chance for John Jock. Sean Murray trying to wriggle into some space. Away by Waterford though. So lucky. Andy Boyle Hubert down for Ben Amar. now it's Michael Duffy Leahy even at this late stage tirelessly getting up on the outside and the shot coming in and that's just over the crossbar and a reasonable effort by Sean Murray and Will Patching over this free kick it looks like it'll be Sean Murray Murray right footed and that's missed and it's Dan Cleary at the back post with a chance to reverse it in which he does towards Ben Amar and Dundalk coming on to it and a chance for Sean Murray saved by Paul Martin again and if Waterford are to get something at the death here they have Paul Martin to thank yeah another great save <coughs> I think Daniel Cleary it's evaded everyone and he probably wasn't expecting the ball to come to him just forced the ball but it's a great pullback really good ball by Sean Murray to Michael Duffy Duffy Dara Power is back there. Dara Leahy with the chance to cross it in. Away by Halford, helped on by Wordsworth. Cameron Domigan screening in front of his defence. Takes it back for Dundalk. Here's Patching now. 
Punching into the penalty area. Power stays with them. Leahy. No Duffy. Waterford, they'll have it back. Wordsworth stretching.